everyone, Ron Farrell73 here, and I'm back with an all new update. Before I start, I've decided to uh, do some changes with these updates. Um, like, for example, I'm just going to do like one update of uh, DVD and Blu ray movie pickups, and another one of CD, music, vinyl, and uh, certain other small non music pickups. And also, I've just instead of just uh, calling them by the uh, date and the month and the year, I've just decided to just uh, do a call them by a certain month and just say pickups. And uh, anyway, I've got um, I've got six Blu-ray pickups and four DVD pickups, but. First, I'd like to start with the DVDs, and these first three I got from a sale from uh, one of my oldies.com catalogs back in October, and uh, they came in November, and this one I got really cheap, and this is a Cheesy Flicks title, Night of Bloody Horror, and this has an early performance from Gerald McCraney, who you all know as Major Dad. got another H.G. Uh, Lewis title and this is the gruesome twosome sadly this isn't on blu-ray but uh, if it's uh, if it comes as a double feature with another one of H.G. Lewis's movies I'll pick it up three on a meat hook and um, heard good things about this movie sadly this edition I picked up is pretty crappy even though the picture quality is okay there's no uh, chap. There's no menu or chapter menus in this, and whenever you pop it in, you have to like uh, fast forward it to uh, go to a certain scene that you missed. Anyway, uh, back to the movie. It's uh, pretty uh, good and entertaining. I wouldn't call it as good as Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Deranged, but pretty uh, decent movie with a cheesy beheading scene in it. <laughs> This next one I got really cheap off of Amazon and this is American Pop and this came out the same year as Heavy Metal and it's not as good as Heavy Metal but it's a pretty great decent movie with some good music in it. Definitely one of the best adult animated movies out there. And now on for my Blu-ray pickups. The Shallows, heard a lot of good things about it and watched it and it's a pretty good movie and the one scene that really is really freaky for me is when she uh, calls out for this guy lying on the beach and he uh, starts to swim out to her even though he's drunk and um, they don't show him getting attacked, but when he gets out of the water, he's uh, torn in half, and I'm just surprised that they uh, showed that since it's a PG-13 movie. And I wouldn't call this as good as Open Water, but one of the uh, better shark movies that are out there. Scream Factory's Blu-ray edition of David Cronenberg's Rabid, and... I really like this artwork from the slipcase cover and of course it has the uh, original movie poster art and I hope they uh, get the rights to they came from within because I really would like for that to be on blu-ray I heard that uh, Black Christmas uh, came out um, last week but I'm gonna wait around for it since I have the uh, Anchor Bay Canada edition and I'm not in any any rush to get it. Also I heard that uh, sometime next year they're gonna put out Robocop 2 and 3. This is a three movie uh, three Blu-ray collection of Prince movies called the Prince Movie Collection which has Purple Rain, Under the Cherry Moon, and Graffiti Bridge. This next one's a pretty fun, uh, cheesy Italian movie, and this is Burial Ground. 
Sorry about my dog in the background, and I never thought it would come in this slipcase cover. And uh, has the original movie poster art. And this is the artwork from the uh, Media Shriek Show Blasters DVD, which I'm still going to hold on to. Because this version doesn't have a whole lot of bonus features on it. So this is just a way out there Italian zombie flick and lots of uh, cheesiness. And the uh, zombie makeup's pretty crappy, but uh, the movie is just very entertaining. And last but not least, since I. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to treat myself to a couple of pickups from Deep Discount, and these are the new uh, DVD editions of Phantasm, and well, deep, this is the Blu-ray DVD uh, combo of the remastered edition of Phantasm, and I went ahead and printed the uh, MGM edition, the old MGM edition, which I'm giving away. I'm still going to hold on to the Anchor Bay edition because this one doesn't have a whole lot of bonus features on it and haven't watched it yet but I will get around to watching it. And this is the movie Ravager and I've heard that it's definitely pretty good and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, watching it. Well that's it for this update. Until then. Have a Merry Christmas weekend.